Hello, um, that's my first video English. So you if you say something wrong, girls, or if I uh, like uh, I have my accent that you guys don't understand, I'm just trying to help you guys a little bit. So I wake up, I'm gonna try to make it shorter. So I wake up every time, like many times a night, and I didn't know how to like hold the pee for like longer than like five, four, five, six hours. Um, impressive that that day I did held my pee or I was like uh, super exhausted. Um, I slept for eight hours. I don't sleep for eight hours for over two years. Uh, I usually always wake up to go in the bathroom. Either way, so I was Googling if I could have saved the pee to test. So I saved my pee and was like three days before my period to come and was like a 10 days post ovulation and by my like app, but I think it was like nine days post ovulation because I always have signs that I know I'm ovulating. So I save it and I did the test in the morning, but because I am a POAS, if you guys don't know, it's a P on the stick edit, edit, yeah, I am one, okay, I do a lot of tests, I spend a lot of money on tests, I have been like that for what, um, nine years, um, I had my ups and downs, uh, so to let you guys know, so this will be my seventh pregnancy, so, and I have two living children. So, I had it um, three miscarriages and I had a one stillborn baby. And I have two kids afterwards. Uh, so, either way, uh, I just pee, this pee, I'm going to show you guys. going to try to make it shorter. It was today... Thursday, 4.40 a.m. So I'm going to do, I, I didn't cover. So I'm going to open test right now. So I use that pee to make a test this morning. Uh, it was positive. And this test is from Amazon. Um, you see this wolf. So they say super se sensitive, you know, um, early results. And um, I bought for like less than nine dollars for twenty five, but I usually spend a lot of money on the other test too. But this month I tried to control myself, so my max this month was what um, thirty nine. I spent this month. Last month I spent twenty five. Um, by the way, yeah, it's crazy, but. Okay, I have a little anxiety. So, girls, this it was four. So now it's um, almost noon. So it's basically noon now. So I'm gonna do it, and I'm gonna show you guys the other test I did. So it's a good reviews. Uh, if you guys, uh, so my AF or my period, it's supposed to come tomorrow. Okay, so I'm doing the test, you see. So I saved this pee for over six hours. It's sitting in here, uncover, and we see what's gonna happen. So I'm gonna show you the test that I made it 10 days plus ovulation for Amazon. I know it's not, it's really bad to see, but it's really light. You can see, but it's really, really faint, you know? And this, it's the same, the same, I did in the same day, you know? Uh, but it's first response. You clearly, you guys can really see a line on this one, you see? But this one's really faint, you know? You gotta look really close. So, uh, and this one, it's from Amazon that I did today. You see, uh, you can see a line, you see. Uh, so my 
period is supposed to come tomorrow, so this was supposed to be 12 days post ovulation, okay? Um, the test is right here, um, just give a few more minutes. And this, I did a digital, you know, it's pregnant, it was yesterday. Uh, this is 11 days post ovulation. Uh, okay, girls, um, so this B was 4.40 a.m., now it's noon, so it's positive, you see? Uh, it's still a little, uh, you know, uh, light, you know, because it has been like under five minutes, but you can't see a line. So I think, yes, if you are pregnant, uh, you kind of can see a line, yeah. If you are pregnant and you save your pee, even uncovered, you will show, I don't know, over to like 24 hours, but from what I see, I think it will show. Uh, what made me do the test, because I'm crazy, I always make a test, but I felt super tired, just like I did with my son, you know, like extremely tired, like super tired, like with my both pregnancies with boy, with my girl, I wasn't that tired. Um, I had a, like crazy hiccups. It's crazy, but I had it. Uh, I have a little nausea in the middle of the night, you know, and I'm bloating. But some symptoms, it can be like your period coming, not pregnancy. But what I, I felt really different this time, it was like, I just yawn, you know, all the time. I was super tired, like not slightly tired, like super overtired. It's not normal for me. The hiccups, it's crazy, but the hiccups, the bloating is kind of normal, you know. Um, but I started feeling symptoms where I put it here, like eight days plus or ovulation seven eight days post ovulation i was starting to feel in symptoms so how i found out so early uh my cycle is 26 25 days so i found out early i found out early with my okay my stillborn i found out like the day before my period or the day that was supposed to come with my other boy i did found out um early i think was three weeks in four days you know uh and with my girl i found out on the day that was supposed to come um and i was testing before because we are at disney i didn't want to do anything crazy so either way girls i hope you guys find helpful this video that you know my pencil has been like uh, um i'm gonna say in portuguese so my pee was almost eight hours seven hours and a half it has been sitting in here and still show positive girls the same way I did when I just be. So I think I can do experiment later um, and try to put with this video. I can wait to like hop, uh, save this for tomorrow and after 24 hours and see if uh, it will still show positive. I think you guys you know, find helpful this for you. And okay, thank you very much. Bye.